Today, we will crochet a simple flower, which can be executed even by those who are only starting their crochet journey. Let's do an amigurumi ring. Wrap a loop on a finger. Grab the thread from the other side and make the first loop, which we tighten. Here we have an amigurumi ring. Next up, we do three chain stitches. One, two, three. Follow the link in the description and grab your step-by-step -step guide on how to earn your first $1,700 crocheting by tomorrow with the help of my own crochet techniques. We do 11 double crochets into the ring. Yarn over and first double crochet second, and so on. Eleventh double crochet and tighten the ring. Join the top stitch of our first single post crochet with a connecting stitch. Next, we do two turning chain stitches. Once we tighten the amigurumi ring, we can cut off the extra thread. Two turning chain stitches. And then we double crochet into this single post crochet and two chain stitches come out. One single post crochet together, one more double crochet. Then three chain stitches, one, two, three, and under the next loop, double crochet. Then here, double crochet here, and also half double crochet. This same loop needs a single crochet. Here's our first petal. Next up, we half double crochet into the loop. Then two double crochets here, one double crochet, and second double crochet. Now three chain stitches, one, two, three. Next is a double crochet. Here, another double crochet. Now half double crochet and also a single crochet.
We will repeat all that. All our petals will crochet the same. Here's our third petal. We must have six petals all together. We continue. Four, repeat half double crochet. Five, and the last petal. Half double crochet, double crochet, one more. Three chain stitches. Yarn over, double crochet into the next loop. One more double crochet. Half double crochet. Single crochet. And we connect with a slip stitch. We have five petals ready. The very edge row, we crochet the following way. We single crochet above the previous row. And into this chain space, we do three single crochet. One, two, three. Then above every single post, we do single crochet. Here's the first single crochet. Then second, and then third. And we crochet this way above every single post. Into each loop of the previous row, we single crochet until we get to the chain space. So here into the chain space, we do three single crochet. One, two, three. Continue again. Above each single post, do single crochet. We continue doing single crochet above each single post until the chain space. Chain space gets three single crochets. One, two, three. And we continue with single crocheting the previous row until the three chain space, which gets three single crochet. One, two, three. Continue again 
Above each single post, we single crochet. We end up with this beautiful flower. Three single crochets into the chain space. One, two, three. Keep going with a single crochet. Three more single crochet into the chain space. One, two, three. We're finishing up our last petal. Join the connecting stitch. Make one more stitch so it doesn't loosen and cut. Guide the thread to the back and there we can cut it off completely. We end up with this beautiful flower. You can also try to crochet the middle with various yarn and you'll end up with a completely different type of flower. A more detailed breakdown of this flower can be found in my catalog in the description below. Crochet with joy. Bye bye.